In this video, we will try to solve a problem on IS code. The question is like this. If consumption is given as 20 plus 0 0.6 Y subscript D, that means the disposable income. Tax is given as minus 10 plus 0 0.4 Y. That is tax is a function of Y and G. Government expenditure is 80 and investment is given as 60 minus 2 Y. Okay. So this is induced investment that depends upon the rate of interest okay we are being told then if government expenditure rises to 100 what happens when this g changes from 80 to 100 we have to see the horizontal shift in the is code the options are given as 43.5 43.4 31.2 or 33.4 let us see uh, what is the uh, correct answer okay so for that what we need to do we just need to find out uh, first of all we know that uh, money market equilibrium requires since we are being uh, uh, concerned with the is curve so for is curve how do we uh, derive the is curve that is derived by the national income identity that is y is equal to c plus i plus g okay now what is uh, the value of c c is being given as here 20 uh, plus 0 0.6 Y subscript D means disposable income. How do we get disposable income? In place of Y subscript D, Y subscript D is equal to Y minus T. That means uh, disposable income is equal to that very income which is uh, left when we pay the taxes. Okay, so we have Y minus the value of T is uh, being given us here. That is minus 10 plus 0 0.4 Y. Okay, so this is y plus 10 minus 0 0.4 y okay so uh, y in place of this y subscript d i can write uh, this very thing okay so we have y plus 10 minus 0 0.4 y okay so let me rub this out here then we have i the value of i is being given us uh, here that is 60 uh, minus 2i and obviously our government expenditure is being given as 80 originally okay so now what we need to do we just solve it for y and i so we have uh, 20 plus uh, here uh, y minus 0.4y it will come out to be Mm, let me write here 0 0.6 then one, uh, y minus 0.4 y it is 0 0.6 again y uh, now point uh, let me write this first we have 10 then we have 60 uh, then we have minus 2 i plus 80 okay so we have 20 uh, plus 0.6 into 0.6 is 0 0.36 y 0.6 into 10 is 6 plus 60 minus 2i plus 80 okay or this is equal to now if we transpose this term to lhs this will become y minus 0 0.36 y is equal to now what we are being left to 20 we have 80 plus 20 is 100 plus 60 is 160 that is 166 uh, minus 2i or we have if we subtract 0.36 from 1 we will uh, be left with 0, uh, point, 0 point, uh, 0.64 y is equal to 166 minus 2y okay this is our is curve okay so we can write it like this y is equal to 166 dividing this point 0 0.64 minus 2 upon 0 0.64 i okay if you calculate this i will not show the shortcut method here so it will come out to be 259.4 minus 3.1 i okay this is our i scope that means originally let me draw it here originally this is our i scope okay and it is uh, this intercept we have y here rate of interest on this axis so intercept is 259.4 Four, okay originally now we need to find out when uh, G increases to 100 what will happen okay since we have autonomous uh, government expenditure 
if this g increases okay then in this uh, this is the intercept this, it will change okay since g has increased uh, to 100 that means change in g is equal to 100 minus 80 okay 100 minus 80 which is 20 that means this intercept will increase by 20 here okay so in this equation we add up this increase in the government expenditure so i can write uh, 0.64 y is equal to 166 166 plus the increase in the government expenditure is by 20 okay so i repeat here originally the government expenditure was 80 it increased to 100 so change in government expenditure is 20 so i have written here 166 plus 20 uh, obviously then we have minus 2i okay so if we solve this 0.64 y is equal to this will become 186 minus 2i that means our y is equal to 186 upon 0.64 minus 2 upon 0.64 i okay so this will come out to be let me write it i have calculated and uh, this comes out to be this thing as 290.6 minus 2 upon we have calculated it earlier this is 3 point one i okay so this was our original is curve this is our final original uh, is curve sorry when there is a change in the autonomous uh, government expenditure by 20 okay so what is the final result let us see let me draw it again so we have this was our original is curve its intercept was 259.4 after g has increased our is curve has shifted to this and our new intercept is 290 290.6 now what is the horizontal shift horizontal shift in is curve horizontal shift in is curve will be 290.6 minus 250 9.4 that is 290.6 minus uh, 259.4 this comes out to be 6 minus 2 is 2 point the nine of the arc okay so we have 8 minus 5 is 3 that means horizontal shift in the is curve when government expenditure rises to 100 that means when our government uh, expenditure has increased by 20 is equal to 31.2 okay that means the correct option to this question should be this very option okay i hope i make myself clear in this video i would like to request you people please share subscribe this channel with your friends that is the only motivation for me to keep going on okay i have no incentive otherwise to make videos okay if you like these videos please share this okay thank you